Okay. And now we're recording. So thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming to the first Tower Garden call in April, April 1st. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it came, away, it came quick this, this, this month. I was like, oh, all right. It's already the first Thursday of the month. <laughs> and we, we fooled you because we're here. <laughs> yeah. Yay! I Yay! appreciate you for being here. Did yeah. anyone play any jokes on anybody? No. <laughs> no. My grandson no. did a few. No. My uh, grandson yeah. did a few. He got me good, but I didn't get anybody good. So they knew it was coming. Yeah. yeah nothing yeah. nothing you know, good I, here. I, I did to somebody. I was supposed to go. My cousin, I was, I'd be taking care of her little girl a, one day a week for future so I was going to kind of like check everything out and today I was like it's not going to happen I'm not going to be able to come oh. <laughs> and then it was like it only was like two seconds later I was like never mind I'm on my way yeah while they're still not breathing you have to say April Fool <laughs> right, yeah, right. No, I did, did oh, right away yep. <laughs> we used so to pin pin fish on our backs at school oh you ever see that Interesting, eh? Uh, pin, pin a fish. You would draw a fish on a paper and pin it in the back without anybody seeing you. So you'd oh. be carrying a fish all day long behind you. <laughs> oh, that's too April funny. Fool. Yeah. That's that'd a be good a good one. one for your mom, Nikki. That, yeah, that's that's an easy but harmless one as well. I like yeah. harmless. Yeah. They, they, they get a little crazy after a certain yeah. amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> so you just got seeds. Yay! <laughs> what kind of seeds did you get, Jocelyn? And what kind of stuff are you thinking of planting? Well, exactly. It was like, did they know I was going to plant that? Because I got the collard greens, the, the black kale, which looks delicious, the arugula that I love, the basil. Yes, I don't have basil yet. So, and then I can all oh, uh, gourmet lettuce. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. So, and then I have other seeds of my own I've been gathering. So I'm going to try a squash anyway and a spaghetti squash. And I'm going to try, uh, what about bush beans? What do you, have you anybody grown bush beans? Um, I have not actually, but I would okay. think, I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't work. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I like to test it out and see yeah. how it's working and what's happening. And um, so I think it's a good test. Yeah. I actually pulled up from the website. Let me share my screen really quick. Oh. I pulled up from the website. This is yeah. the Tower Garden website. And this is 16 oh. crops that thrive in this cool spring weather. And it says beans. So your bush beans. Yeah. I don't see why not. Broccoli, yeah. cabbage, cauliflower, Chinese cabbage, which I've never grown, collards, endive, kale, kohlrabi, which is super fun. Yeah. I've never grown it, but I've eaten it and it's super yeah. cool. Weird yeah. looking why it grows. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Leeks, lettuce, mustard, peas, radicchio, spinach, and Swiss chard. And I think Swiss chard grows every season. And I think kale yeah. is also one that's like yeah. good for every single season. Yeah, those but, things just kind of take over. Okay, but the leeks, you only you only get one leak in that little pocket, in that little, unless you, you put more than one leak, one container of leeks, right? Yeah, because so leeks, leeks get pretty big. Them. Yeah, so you'd get one per container. Yeah, I would probably mm -hmm. recommend that. And it's spinach, gonna be like spinach and Swiss chard. You could plant a lot of right. seeds mm -hmm. um, per Rockwell. Here, let me show you. Since it, it is a show and tell, let me show no, my tower yeah. card. Yeah, and show you how many seeds. Like this is my Swiss chard, and I yeah. planted two. I think I planted like. 25 i don't know maybe 25 it's probably more like 10 to 12 seeds yeah in a little rock wool and oh, that one's because, doing good yeah so they don't unlike a normal garden they don't actually fight for the space as much because they're all getting they're all getting the same amount of water and they're all getting okay. fully yeah. hydrated with nutrient solution so they yeah. kind of i've grown them because again what i learned from getting seedlings to start with instead of buying planting the seeds is in the packet it says to plant like I don't know three or four seeds per rock wool but then right. I would get the ones from true garden 
and there was like 10 or 12 different seedlings pop- popping out and I was like well they planted way more than three to right. five right. little seeds in there and so I was like well if I they do it at the at the the big grow where they have thousands or hundreds of tower gardens like why wouldn't I do that with mine so that's mm-hmm. what I learned moving forward that like Swiss chard and kale like I've got kale over here that I've got and this is after I've harvested a bunch of them. I still have three growing, three uh, of these kales growing. Okay. So kale and Swiss chard, because they can kind of spread out and find their own space, mm-hmm. that I would say 10, around 10 seeds is good. So I okay. double what it says on the actual little packet okay. for them. Okay. But when it comes to lettuces and things like this, like this type of lettuce, I don't like, <laughs> it like one seed because they will crowd each other. Like this is heavily okay. harvested yeah. and this yeah. one too. I harvested it heavily recently because I transplanted other things. So I'm a constantly testing and transplanting and I got mm-hmm. some not really happy. I got basil, but I really think it was the um, watercress. Yes, I got watercress from the store and transplanted in the tower garden. It did well. Wow. But I transplanted spider mites onto my tower garden. Oh, not oh. ideal. Yeah. So I watched my pepper plant. I actually pulled recently. So I had a big pepper plant and it was sad because I had the most peppers on it than I've had <laughs> the whole. It grew for a year and a half. I planted it November of 2019. Wow. And it grew through the whole time but it was covered in spider mites. So oh. I harvested it and I just removed that plant because it was the one that was the most affected. Mm-hmm. And it also has gone after, they've gone after my Swiss chart a little bit. They don't look as oh. good as they normally do, but I'm spraying them down. So that's one thing that I've learned. The amazing part about the tower garden community is there's so many people that have tower mm-hmm. gardens have dealt with the issue way before me. So they are like, hey, this is what you do. This is what you want to do. This is how you get rid of them. Are you going to move yours outside at all now that it's getting um, warmer? Probably. We're actually yeah. in the process of finding a new apartment or a new house to oh. rent. So oh. uh-huh. I will let you know as we find a good space for it, but mm-hmm. probably move it back outside because honestly, I like it outside better the only thing well, is i'm gonna miss it so there's it's, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah it's so decorative like, yeah it's i so, actually it's really so, like it in the house like it yeah. lights up my whole dining mm-hmm. living room area it's like i love yeah. it so, so let like, me ask let me yeah. ask you about the roots okay yeah. so when i when i took disassembled mine i guess is the right word i took it apart and the roots were so bad that, okay. so i've heard two things i've heard don't let the roots sit in the water because that rots them but at the same time it says don't cut them too much because then you're freaking out the plants but i had so many like they were they were just it was solid roots like those big big masses yeah so i didn't know if i cut them am i gonna freak out the plants if i let them sit in the water is it gonna freak out the plants so i didn't know what to do so i took it apart so i find like a happy medium Mm -hmm. as with most things in life it depends on like, especially because I know you had particularly it was a tomato plant and yeah. tomato plants love to take over. Yes, but, they do. But how I think of it as, as above, so below. Mm-hmm. So if they're not matched, so if I hack off a bunch of the top, then I can hack off a bunch of the roots and it mm-hmm. be a half, like it's still happy. Okay. A lot of tower gardeners, they like to chop off all the roots and they have fine, great towers. Yeah. I was more on the lazy side and let it like, just do its thing as long as they keep the roots away from the pump because that's the biggest thing you don't want to get the roots but, stuck in the pump so but it's okay to have them in the water as long as they're not affecting the pump because honestly that's how in hydroponic growing mm-hmm. it they sit in water most of the time oh that's true that is true yeah oh so okay. i never thought and even like aquaponics and things like that like it does more cycling but mm-hmm. that sit in the water the majority of the time anyway okay. so I don't okay. I didn't see any issue with it as long yeah. as they keep it away from the pump like that okay all right so that that's sure. what I'll do this next time then you know I won't yeah. worry about 
them so being yeah, in the but water. If I, but I would just hack it back when you, because you want to, especially tomatoes, you want to trim them back so they produce mm -hmm. more fruit. And yeah, that's another thing I have to do this time. I have to, yeah. you know, train them, train them back, I guess, or, or keep them. I let them go way too crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I, yeah, I mean, that, that's a normal thing. I'm like, I don't want to cut it. It's, I know, it's so I know. pretty and it's so big. It's and, and then you place. realize that it totally takes over the tower garden, kills all these uh -huh. other things. I'm like, well, maybe it wasn't ideal that I let it just take over. Yeah. Now, should, I can't do tomatoes here now, right? I have to wait till September. I would, well, mm, yeah, because April, you're starting to get into, I did it, Actually, my first tower garden, I bought my tower garden in April when I first got it and I planted mm -hmm. tomatoes and they lasted good. I planted little ones like I wouldn't yeah. do like big beefsteak tomatoes because they probably right. wouldn't ripen before mm -hmm. it would get too hot for the tower garden. Mm -hmm. But like little cherry tomatoes or little yeah. yellow pear tomatoes or something like that you could do yeah. because it's going to get like you've got till with shade in the afternoon, you've got till like June. Yes. July mm -hmm. and August, just, I yeah. mean, you can limp it along. I would tell people like I got food off the tower garden in July and August, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't take a picture of it. I yeah, wouldn't right, show right. anybody my tower garden. Yeah. I even thought point. I, I even thought I might even, you know, I, I've got the lettuce in there now. Cause we, eat a lot of that. So yeah. I have the lettuce in there now. And I'm thinking maybe June, July, August, just taking it down. Cause it's so hot. And yeah. you helped me with it last year in September. We started everything in September yep. and it did really well yeah really well so i so might just take it down so for the rest of the world pretty much mm -hmm. right now is like your september <laughs> right it's perfect yes yes so right now is when <laughs> when you want to get the tower garden like everywhere except where it gets really hot it's like right. opposite year like, right so right. it's so weird <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, and then just kind of that's your winter essentially is June, July. Correct. And August. Yeah. So I'll tear it down. I'll probably tear it down for oh July, August, June, July, August, probably. You know, I'll get yeah. my last. But you can kind of keep it going. That's what I did. It's just kind of limped it along in June. Mm -hmm. And yeah. one thing that does love the heat is basil. Basil, <laughs> kale, Swiss chard, yeah. and um eggplant. Oh. They, they'll thrive even in July. Oh, okay. Like Whoa. eggplant. Like I had to, I had everything else die in the tower garden, but the eggplant was super happy. Oh, maybe I'll throw some of that in there now too then. Yeah. Cause eggplants grow and they're like bushes essentially. Yeah. So they can give you a lot of fruit and they really like the heat. Okay. Maybe I'll try that then this next week when I go pick up my little seedlings. Yeah. yeah. Cool. If you, if you, um, if you take it down, then what food are you going to eat? The purpose of having a tower for me is to eat greens. Right. All yeah. Year round. Yeah. So if you tear it down while well, you're not using your tower, you have to go buy those foods. And that is and true. And boy, yeah. there's nothing worse than buying that stuff after you've tasted it on the tower. Yeah. Oh my exactly. God. It's, it's terrible. I got leaf lettuce one day because that mine was gone. And I said, what the heck is that? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't exactly. taste near not as good. even close. Yeah, not even close. So, so yeah, but either lettuce, take it down lettuce. or the better option, like, mm -hmm. is to get the light kit and then just move it inside. Mm -hmm. that is, that too, but, but that's the best yeah. thing when you move it inside and you, mm -hmm. I mean, granted, I've had mine in mine inside for a year and a half. So I've tested more than just like leafy greens, but inside the best thing to do is like leafy greens because yeah. they, grow, they grow well, they grow easy. They don't take a whole long time to harvest. So mm -hmm. you get a good amount and you can kind of like keep replanting and just have all kinds yeah. of greens. Yeah. Yeah, I might do that. But I have this this overhang too that really did well keeping the sun, the hot sun off. Yeah. See, I think you would get you would get it until at least July with that because oh, yeah. you get the shade, mm -hmm. enough shade. Well, yeah, but I keep it under the under the cover, you know, up yeah, there. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So, so yeah, so cool. Excuse me. So by fall, I have to buy the light, the lights for the winter in Canada, right? Right, because you have a long winter. Oh yeah. <laughs> Unless I go away, I decide to go away, and they let me go away. They let me get away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, when you go I down to Arizona, that. no. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Or Mexico. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Mexico or Mexico, is, somewhere. Then you don't, don't use it. So I had a big question for you, Nikki. Yes. 
in the books because I've been studying and, you know, trying to figure it all out and it's exciting. Uh, they recommend uh, good water. Like for your water reservoir, they recommend not tap water, not hose water. But this, you're talking about 20 gallons. Mm -hmm. So I disagree how with do that. you get good water? 20 so gallons. The best water. thing that I have found and what I highly recommend is A, Use the hose because that makes okay. it easy. Depending okay. on what your water is like, like how many minerals or I think we talked about if it was like city water or anything like yeah. that. It's a town water. It's chlor chlorinated. Yeah. This ah. is what I recommend. Okay, let me see. It's an RV, RV water filter. So it's basically yeah, just have, this yeah. and you stick it on the end of your hose. Mm -hmm. Ah. So yeah, that's what ah. I it's just a carbon filter. I mean, you can buy fancy ones, but this one is like 15 bucks on Amazon. Mm -hmm. ah. 20. So it's just yeah, a that's... good carbon filter and that filters out the chlorine. It also filters out any weird stuff that's in it. Screwed onto the end of the hose. I left it on my hose most of the year, except mm -hmm. I also learned that there's water that retains in here. Yeah. So when it freezes and you put your hose outside, oh, this cracks oh, open. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Learned yeah. something that I learned since I moved to Colorado. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I use that same thing. I never dealt with that, the freezing yeah. issue in Arizona. But yeah, I would just get an RV filter and put it on your well, hose. Uh, not that simple. No? I don't have RV uh, centers near nearby oh no let's do amazon amazon just order it on i don't amazon. i i don't have a canadian credit card maybe they'll uh, take uh american maybe so and i'm not a big i've never shopped on amazon before but i can get help and get yeah the cheap uh rv water filter yeah i'll 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 send you i'll send you a link and see if we can I'll okay do a canadian search and see if we can do a canadian amazon or something yeah. like that yeah but then they won't take an american card to pay for it i know that that is you do have a so little it's kind of have a glitch there. and the reason i don't have a credit in canada is because they want 20 percent uh interest on a credit card Whoa. i'm not interested so Yay. that's canada for you it's lovely to live here but really it's like i don't want a credit card i got plenty in the states but they won't accept it so i'll have to get around mm. or find an rv place do you think an rv as a store an rv place has a store to sell it probably probably and you know what you yeah. could probably do you, like Home Depot or Lowe's or something? They would probably have something too. Yeah, that's four hours away. <laughs> <laughs> so, I live in the mountains, so there's not no such thing there. But oh, I know where Canadian Tire. That's like a Walmart. Maybe Perfect. even Walmart would carry it. Yeah. Yes, maybe like Walmart. Oh, we do have a Walmart in a small town, so of course. So okay, so that solves my water uh, question because yeah. I was. A little bit uh, concerned because it yeah, might be. You don't want to haul water or do any of that crazy because oh, it no, makes it more no. difficult. No, no, no. It's too much 20 gallon. It's too yeah. much. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. It's so, supposed to be easy. Yeah. So the water is resolved. That, that was my big question for the day. And then setting it up outside in a couple of weeks, I'm going to ask friends to come over and help me outside. Her? And then um, if we get a ha hailstorm in July or, you know, it's Canada or Oregon's the same way. So do you cover up your tower or no? Yeah, I would. I mean, I'd honestly get just, just to be on the safe side, like, a, I just covered it with like a sheet or like a blanket okay. or something just for the hail because, yeah. or unless there's like an awning that you can pull it underneath, depending yeah. on what's, what's outside. Yeah. yeah. Because we did no. get the dolly, so you could move it around. Yeah. So that well, just, the, the wheels look like they're underneath the reservoir. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, it'll look like this. Here, let me show you mine. Except yeah. your dolly is a more upgraded version than this one. Okay. So this has it kind of doesn't mine doesn't fully fit on it. Like there's a little bit of a gap in between. Yours yeah. fits flush against the side of the tower garden okay. Plus yours has five wheels this one only has four wow, okay. older version okay. so it'll have five wheels so therefore it 
it's not it doesn't fall in into any um yeah i don't know like bricks or things like that it's harder for it because they're off center there's not four there's five yeah. so that's kind of an upgraded thing that they've done somewhat recently i really want the new dolly but right. might have to just get a new tower garden for that yeah. and, and, and is, is there a designer way because i've noticed on this website people go crazy but one uh colored lady had a beautiful heart-shaped spinach or is there a design on this or that it doesn't over overgrow and looks all ugly like a bad bad jungle <laughs> <laughs> i mean it depends on the gardener to be honest like yeah. i'm a little bit on the lazier side not just let yeah. it do its thing yeah. but there's more of those type a personalities that have like yeah. everything perfect and manicured and they know where everything is yeah, yeah. And label yeah. It. make it look pretty yeah, Make I'm like, different. what do you think that is? I don't know. Let's wait a couple months, see what it turns out. Right. Like. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah, and you gotta ideally you fill out 21 spots, right? There's 21 little 20, holders. 20, 20. Twenty. Okay. So yep. you fill all them out, right? And then you get to listen to this because it's my timer goes off at at on the 30. If you can listen to it, this is what it sounds like. Huh. Can you hear it? Uh -huh. I love the sound of it. That's like my favorite part about the power garden. Having like, a water, water uh, every time house, it turns so. on, it makes me feel so excited. I know. Oh, it's like a bird or something. Mm -hmm. Here, and then I've had these, and this is a broccoli right here. Wow. But it's amazing at like there's just a tiny little broccoli head, if you can even see it. Yeah, if you can, but yeah. it's not going to put a whole bunch of like, I know that I'm not going to get a giant head of broccoli because this was supposed to be a broccoli microgreen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Again, lazy gardener, it turned yeah. into a full size plant. So I've <laughs> moved it around. So this, where is it? This broccoli, it actually starts here. It oh. starts here. And the broccoli stem goes down over here and around and out over here. Oh, there really? <laughs> yeah. So if I zoom out, it goes from down here to all the way around here to all, all the way up over here. Oh, that's so crazy. It puts so much energy to like, where do I go? That it grew down <laughs> and around and craziness. And how much broccoli will you get from that? Just a head or? Usually it's like a little head. And then once you harvest that, like mm -hmm. around it, pulls up. like it's more like broccolini than broccoli. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. This is what I've normally grown on the tower garden. Yeah. Again, lazy, not super perfect with everything, but yeah. it tastes really good. And then the broccoli leaves. I usually like harvest the broccoli, like the lower ones. So not mm -hmm. closest to the head, but I harvest all these broccoli leaves and cook it with my Swiss chart. Oh. Good idea. Because broccoli leaves are great and they taste, they have like a hint of a broccoli flavor with wow. like the, the texture of like more like collard greens and they're easy and they're fun. They're good. So I usually use a lot more greens than I have not got the big heads of stuff yet, but mm -hmm. I think I'm not sure. I'm still, yeah. I'm still testing yeah. and educating mm -hmm. myself. And cool. broccoli makes babies. Usually they make baby in the dirt, you know, yeah. outside. But it's mm -hmm. good. what about mustard? Have you ever grown mustard leaves? Mustard greens? I got yeah. mustard greens right here. Okay, good. I've good. got some right here. And that's the um, which is really interesting. The bugs that I've gotten or the spider mites have gone after my Swiss chard and the mustard greens, mm -hmm. but it hasn't touched any of the kale leaves. Oh, oh. interesting. That's yeah, interesting. No, no kale and no lettuce, which I thought lettuce would be the most susceptible because there's such delicate leaves. Yeah. yeah. But it hasn't really noticed. I haven't really noticed much of a no. difference. Granted, it's still like, I mean, I found it last week. I did kind of a post on my Facebook and I was like, maybe, what do I do? And I've got lots of help. And what I've learned is a spray bottle. <laughs> I knew he's so cute. I know he was, he was growling at himself. Oh. 
Oh, mm -hmm. so what I've learned from the multiple people that I've talked to said, get a spray bottle, put like a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Actually, so let me, let me change it up because I will show you because it's on amazingly it's on the blog which wow. I really like the tower garden blog has a lot of really good information let me share my screen again and this this is a uh, it's like six simple secrets to a pest-free garden and wow. it's all about the tower garden and then they tell you and this was Tim Blank so the kind of inventor of the tower garden wow. mm -hmm. and he said for aphids mites thrips white flies to use neem oil which mm -hmm. I've got a neem oil that you could essentially eat and then dish soap and then water. So that's what yeah. I've been doing. But I have a, another gardener friend that she said to put, she said either spice and or garlic oil. So I've actually been putting, oh. like I have canned garlic in the fridge. So I've been just putting a little bit of the garlic water oh, in with good. the dew to see like, well, we'll see. Yeah. So Is that's, it, I will so report pre, back pre, on how it have, goes. You'll have pre-season vegetables. <laughs> there you go. See, exactly. I yeah. love garlic. So it works. It works. Oh, yeah. perfect. Have you so grown garlic? A little bit of that. Go ahead. Have you grown garlic in there? I have grown onions, but not garlic. Okay. Yeah, one like ball, five. One ball per, per container, I imagine. Probably more the greens. Just because yeah. garlic normally needs like soil, I think. Mm -hmm. But yeah. maybe, I mean, I haven't grown it, but I've had a lot of people that have tested a lot of different things. And that's one thing that I really like about the Tower Garden Facebook group. Yeah. Tower to Table Facebook group is that there's mm -hmm. a lot of people that have tested a lot of different things and have different yeah. questions. And so it's kind of fun to just kind of scroll through and see what other people are doing. Yeah. And they have pictures of their tower gardens, which is really fun. Yeah. yeah. And you learn a lot from that Facebook page. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So. You learn a lot what to do and what learn what not to do. We're like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't know mm -hmm. that. Like I just asked a person the other day because they have strawberries on the tower garden. So strawberries go great on a tower garden, but you need to have a whole tower for just strawberries. Oh, because yeah. normal oh. plants like a pH of like between around six, between five and seven. But pH for strawberries is like a four, three and a half, four. Okay. So they like it really acidic. Yeah. For okay, good yeah. strawberries. So I was learning yeah, that once a week, right? You test you test your pH once a week. I test my pH. Yeah. When I first did it, I did it like every couple of days because I was so excited. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then after I uh, I test it, if there looks like the leaves get yellow or something looks weird, then I'll test yeah. it. But mm -hmm. one thing, another at a hydroponic store or Walmart or whatever. It took me very many years to just do the pH and you do a little bit of water and you put the pH test thing in it. And then my fiance, Michael, talked me into getting a pH meter. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was like, I don't know, 10 bucks on Amazon. Yeah. Changed my life because I use <laughs> this thing way more than I ever did. The yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> So I highly recommend spending the couple bucks and getting yeah. a pH test meter because okay. it's easy. Instead of taking a few minutes to do it, it's just a few seconds. Turn it on, stick it in, shake mm -hmm. it around, check the pH, and you're like, okay, and that's it. Then you move on. So that the, is timer, one. the timer, it tells you uh, how often, I mean, I'm sure the book explains how often that timer needs to be set but it knows actually to... the new timers the timer that you get with your tower garden now all you do is turn it on and you oh. set it to i for inside or o for outside and it takes care of the rest okay okay that's easy so unlike the timer i had which i have to manually set the new timers is just done for you and is the led lights pretty expensive for winter um for the U.S., I don't know U.K. or Canada well, yeah. prices, but for the U.S., it's three hundred, and that includes freight and everything. Okay, hey, la, la. So, 
Yeah. So now, yeah, you have to invest if you want to grow in the winter. Yeah, it is. A, it is a little bit of an investment, but okay. it lasts for a long time. Yeah, unless you so decide to get get the hell out of Canada and don't worry about the tower in the winter. You can't take the tower with you. There you go. You could take the tower with you in, in the south. You can. You, you definitely can. As long as you're not flying, I'm not sure they'll take the no, tower. No, not flying, but driving. And then the border would say, "Excuse me, ma'am." what do you have in your car oh i have a growing tower what are you growing <laughs> not marijuana it's not marijuana <laughs> leave me alone let me in lettuce lettuce i'm growing lettuce lettuce, lettuce. <laughs> let us get by please <laughs> let me in please no. so that's <laughs> Oh, funny. Yeah, yes. Okay. Well, yes. we'll resolve that when we get there. But right now, <laughs> Mike's going to go outside. And <laughs> yes. yeah, I'm going to start my seeds. And then in a week or two, you'll probably hear from me say, Oh, Nikki, I really have a big question. Or Perfect. I'll get some genius to come help me. But I think <laughs> it's pretty, um, pretty self explanatory. The it books, really yeah, the pictures. It's, it's pretty user friendly. You should see friendly. you should see my people up here, Nikki. They're just blown away. You go, oh, oh, you got a tower, a tower. Oh, I want to <laughs> see it. So I'm gonna have a big party, a big tower party. I think. <laughs> well, see, that's what I did. I usually am like, you know, you don't need anyone to help you, but no. I usually make an event of it and be like, hey, yeah. come over and help me plant my tower. <laughs> yeah, 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 and exactly. then and then he's like, yeah. <laughs> You don't even have to wear gardening clothes. Like you can come in your Sunday best and we're still right. yeah. gardening. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> only perfect. 10 allowed, only 10 outside. So that would be good. That's enough. Perfect. Oh, See, that yeah. works. That works. You did something over there, huh? You think? <laughs> my puppy's that? running. My puppy's running crazy. Where is oh. he? Uh-oh. Where is he? Oh, <laughs> we're still potty training. It's not an easy task. No, uh, for, the, for this child. one anyway. <laughs> yes, that happens. Some yeah, puppies. this one. Yeah, this one is not. He's he's difficult, but <laughs> but he's cute. <laughs> but so, Jocelyn, when you start, one of the things that I learned along the process for a better germination rate, so for your seeds in the rock wool, is yeah. you want. I think if you read the directions that tells you to do this, I just skipped over that step when I first okay. did it. But oh. to soak the rock wool, so just soak it in water, so it's oh, nice. Yeah. And I read that. Soaked. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna be like you. I'm gonna do exactly what the book tells me. <laughs> no, I want to be successful. Far better success than I did. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I want to be successful, and I have a green thumb, and I, I, you know, it's quite an investment, and it's exciting. So I don't want to be a failure. I want to, yeah, make sure everything is followed by the T to the T. So I guess I'm gonna. I'm going to soak my rock wool first and then Perfect. and you'll be able to teach me things. <laughs> That's right. I'll be the coach next time. Yeah, there you go. But you know what I learned and this and that, but it's really, really exciting. And it's just a great solution for especially older people. And I don't feel like digging and bending down and weeding. No, no, it's too much work. No, <laughs> so, well, that's the fun thing about the tower garden. A, yeah, there's no yeah. weeds. And right. B, you can harvest standing up. Yeah, yeah that's God. right. And yeah. it's really easy. And you eat good all year round if you want to. Yes. Yeah. Especially, yes. you know, in the summer, it's abundant everywhere. But in the winter, it gets really, really expensive to go buy organic greens anywhere. Yep. So yep. it's way out of my budget. So this was is a good investment. And don't yes. let the water run out so you don't yeah. burn your pump. <laughs> Yes, yeah, that is so, one thing that yeah. that Arizonians have a way harder oh time my with God. that because it burns through water way quicker. With oh, that. I'll check it. I'll check it one day and then two days later go back and it's almost empty. It's like holy cow, how'd that happen? So yeah, yeah. I really got to watch it here. So wow. all right, Nikki, I gotta go. All right. Well, thank you right. for being on. I appreciate oh, thank it. Thank you so much for reminding me a dozen times. Nice, <laughs> nice meeting you. Nice oh, meeting nice you. Talking to you. Looking forward okay. to seeing your garden in a few months. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Yep. All right, guys, take care. All right, bye. Bye bye. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, she's gonna have to go. Okay, See so we're the help. only ones, eh? You don't have it a is. big group tonight. No, I had a few people that said they were gonna make it, but 
that's how it goes sometimes oh, things well, come up or they forget at the last minute <laughs> okay that that that's okay too so i thought it was gonna be light tower will be up by my birthday and then i'll be ready to almost plant the little goodie and hook it up and the pump and everything i feel like a scientist like an engineer <laughs> perfect you kind of are a little bit of everything yeah i feel like oh i'm so smart (laughs) but once it's plugged in the tower will do it all so it's all good but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna leave you with christy because she probably needs help and i'm hungry (laughs) so i appreciate it send me pictures when you plant your seeds I will, and uh, I will. I will talk to you and uh, kind of chat with you if I have any big questions. Please do. Yep, okay, I'm here for you. All right, I'm go sorry. eat something. You're my coach, honey. You're. I've known you since you're a baby. <laughs> I so know. You're my coach now. So. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. No, bye. <laughs> bye. Aww. There we go.